Good evening, and once again, thank you for stepping into the foul play line. As always, I'm your foul player. I wanted to make another uh, football free agency video, and this one is regarding the New York Jets and their free agent to be Robbie Anderson. Um, as some of you know, Robbie Anderson has been a somewhat successful uh, Jets receiver. He's probably been the most successful receiver of the last uh, three years, maybe. Um, early in the year, he didn't have such a good start. Um, some of that could be attributed to the fact that Sam Darnold was out for three games, suffering from uh, mono. But um, I just think that he just took a little bit of time to um, get his things going. And uh, he ended up ending the year with 779 yards, five touchdowns. It's okay. I mean, I, I mean, it's actually pretty good. Um, he didn't have the impact that he had the year before or the year before that, but, um, the numbers, uh, were still, uh, pretty good off the field. Um, there are some concerns with, uh, Robbie Anderson. Um, he's been yammed up with the law a few times. I think this off season, he had two, um, uh, arrests that were made. So that's, uh, that is a cause for concern. But having said that though, his talent, uh, can't be, uh, denied. Um, and he has a little bit of rapport with Sam Darnold, which, um, bring me to the conclusion that the Jets should resign, uh, Robbie Anderson. Robbie Anderson, no matter what, I mean, he's a tear the top off a defense type of receiver. And with the Jets adding a few more pieces in their receiving core, which I hope they do in the draft early this off season. Um, it could add another uh, weapon and help Robbie Anderson and the other receiver. Um, you have the defense um, safeties uh, being occupied with having to um, deal with Robbie Anderson um, going over the top. You know, a good receiver um, in the middle of the field or in short yardage situations would be a godsend to the Jets right now. Or maybe a receiver that could do both, like CeeDee Lamb and Jerry Judy. They're both good at um, make uh, yak plays and... They both have the ability to uh, be explosive, um, but you know you add when you add to that and not um, let Robbie Anderson walk, but you know add to um, that receiving core, it could only help. Um, having said that, Robbie Anderson, um, since he's one of the best options in uh, free agency this year, he's going to require a substantial increase in pay. My limit for him, and this is only like um, me saying that I would re-sign him for at most maybe like 30 million bucks, which is still a lot. I hear a lot of people saying that it wouldn't go over 12, but I I'll uh, be generous and say 13 million bucks. And um, just so you don't accept the, uh, upset the apricot with, uh, with a young developing quarterback in Sam Donald. But as far as... Um, his style of play, like Robbie Anderson, reminds me a little bit of uh, Deshaun Jackson. He may not be uh, as explosive as Deshaun Jackson, may not have as good hands, but um, Deshaun Jackson had the same ability where he could take the top off a of defense. And uh, Deshaun Jackson uh, was rewarded pretty uh, heavily a few times while he's been in the league. Um, he's been able to generate that into uh, two big free agency contracts, the last of which was with the Eagles, where he got like uh, I think almost 40 million. No, I think he got like 30 million bucks for three years with the Eagles. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, two of those years are pretty much guarantees. Um, and he was injured most of the year. In addition to that, uh, Deshaun Jackson has a big time injury history, uh, even before he resigned with the Eagles. Um, and he was able to generate, um, you know, what's ultimately going to amount to about nine, 10 million a year. With this last Eagle contract, which he re which he signed when he was already 31 years old. Robbie Anderson, on the other hand, is 26 years old. Um, so I think uh, better days could be ahead for him. So, I mean, like, um, and the production, I mean, at this stage, it's a lot better than um, Deshaun Jackson's. Because Deshaun Jackson was hurt for almost the uh, entire year. Um, but... No team would sneeze at the chance of having uh, a Deshaun Jackson type of player. Um, it only helps. I mean, even if they're not 
um, getting results uh, over the top, that threat of them being of that um, of you being burned on one play for seventy yards or a touchdown. I mean, um, it, it it only helps offenses, and um, for that reason and that reason alone, I want him back. Um, I think if uh, our our uh, covered as far as um, receiving options sucks. Uh, Quincy Anuma injured most of the year. I don't even know if we could um, cut him or not based on the the contract that he has. I think there was some sort of stipulation that was in play for Quincy Anuma that if he was injured, that he couldn't be cut, which sounds ridiculous. But um, I heard that's um, actually true, and I don't think we're going to be able to cut him. And he's not signed for very cheap either. Um, but just to have um. A core to build with uh, moving on like uh, into the future. I think no matter what, even if the Jets don't necessarily address the uh, receiving in the early portion of the round, they're going to address it later on because there's so many uh, good receiving options that are coming out in the draft this year. Um, you know, CeeDee Lamb, uh, Golden Gandy, uh, LaVisca Chanel, Jerry Judy, you know, um, and there's countless others. I mean, like, you know, th this is a really, really good receiving draft. I mean, it re it's very reminiscent of the draft in which um, Odell Beckham Jr. came out. Um, not as good, but uh, it's right there. I mean, it could be, like, actually at that level. Or maybe better. Who knows, man? This is a really good receiving draft. Uh, a lot of the people that came out in the draft that Odell Beckham Jr. came out, which I think was 2012. or um, I don't know. I'm sorry. I think that was 2000. 13 or 14 between 2012 2014 whatever a lot of those draft a lot of those guys that were coming out of the draft um were like small you know these scatty like six feet tall like receivers and um once they got on the field the nfl started uh changing to where those kind of receivers were um were uh were you know the new the new it guys um there was also uh, one of my favorite receivers in that draft who didn't n end up being much, even though he did have a good game um, in his first game. He had two touchdowns with the Tennessee Titans. But uh, Odell, it was uh, Doriel Beckham Green. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That was in another draft. I'm, 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 forgive me. But uh, nevertheless, the uh, Jets should uh, try to build on that receiving core. You know, at 26 years old, I mean, you give him a uh, three-year contract, four-year contract he's gonna be you know 30 at the end of it and then you add these other other guys into the mix um he doesn't seem like he's a divisive force on the uh in the locker room i think he just stays more to himself i mean sure the uh appearances in the police blotter um are of some concern but that could be the reason why you may be able to sign him for even less than what i'm um saying maybe a lot of people, what they're saying is right, 12 million or 13 million, you know, um, or less, you know, 10 million bucks for uh, Robbie Anderson. That's kind of a steal. I think a lot of people are just pissed off that he's um, indicating that he's going to want to get paid in the uh, offseason. I mean, every free agent is doing that nowadays uh, just because he comes out in the in the blotters and because the Jets, uh, by and large, were not a good team this past year um, doesn't mean that we shouldn't... Um, resign him because he's a talented guy and uh you know when we we have um bell on our team too who's uh uh just as good of a passing threat as he is a running threat and the runs that they're giving him have been trash like i mean he's better like as a uh, pitch uh more um waiting on holes to happen kind of runner and gase refuses to let him run in that fashion in addition to even worse, not throwing to him because he's just as good a receiver as he is a runner. I actually like him better as a receiver, and they've never thrown to him um, since he's been with the Jets. So I mean, Le'Veon Bell like um, has been um, sort of um, a waste as a receiver due to Gase's um, hard-headedness and not wanting to use utilize him in in the fashion which he's a uh, best suited for so yeah let's let's uh let's bring robbie in back into the fold man you know um when gates eventually does get the boot which i hope is soon um 
you know, we'll still have a nice little weapon who's uh, still in his prime age-wise uh, going into uh, 2021 20, and beyond. And uh, let that man, um, as far as Robbie Anderson, uh, help be a tool in the development of Sam Darnold. That's all my time for today. I may do uh, some more boxing videos later on, but if I don't, if you don't come back in, thank you for stepping into the foul playland with me. As always, I'm your foul player. Peace.